So tomorrow is supposed to hit about 118 degrees here in Vegas. So today what we're going to do is try to tint my gold Jeep right here. The front two windows are not tinted, of course, and the back are just a factory tint. So I got 35% for the front, that way it matches the rear. And hopefully that helps with the heat as well. This is my first time ever tinting. I mean, you guys saw me trying to wrap that Jeep and it didn't come out good. So let's hope for the best on this one. And yeah, so I ended up buying some pre-cut tint from eBay. And this is supposed to make it so that the install is a little bit easier. It's still gonna be hard. We still have to shrink the wrap uh, because the contour of the glass. I'm down to try and see what happens. I mean, if it doesn't come out good, that's why we're starting with the passenger side because I'm going to be seeing the driver's side way more. So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and open the box. My only worry that I have right now, since it is still like 110 degrees, is that the soap and water mixture is going to dry up before I get a chance to lay it down. But we'll see how it goes. So I'll have this link down below. I bought this off of eBay. It's meant for the Jeep. I think you get them on Amazon as well. Um, but let's go ahead and open this up. Be careful when you're handling the tent. You don't want it to bend. It looks like it's already bent. I don't know if I did that right now, but I can see a little mark there. I'm going to try to peel the part that we're not going to use off of this. And I'm sure there's a right and wrong way to do this, and I'm probably not doing it right, but there we go. Damn. So this is for the passenger side. There's a clear protective layer, and then there's a tent side. So what we're going to do is we're going to wet the window and i already cleaned all this so this is fine for me to do i'm gonna wet it first and we're gonna set this where it's gonna go what we're gonna try to do right now is to try to shrink the film so you want to clean the whole area around that we don't pick up any dirt any dust uh, i'm gonna set up the heat gun that way we can shrink the film but right now with the soapy water it's holding on i'm gonna have to respray it though that way it doesn't dry out all right, so I don't think it came out that bad. There's a couple spots like right here. This spot right here, I had messed up on this side of the glass. It didn't lay down fine. And that's because I bent the tent. So you don't want to bend the tent. Over here, I didn't put enough glass, so it started sticking out to the window and I couldn't stretch it. So uh, maybe I should have peeled it up and redone it, but it is what it is. And a couple of little bubbles. I think those I can get out. One right here too. So not too bad for my first time ever tinting but now we got tint on the front all right so there it is i mean from 10 feet it doesn't look too bad but yeah you could definitely tell where i bent the tent there and there's a couple of air bubbles um i don't know what i'm doing so it's my first time i'll take it though this is not bad now i'm going to move over to the driver's side and hopefully that one comes out a little bit better and guys for the month of july we are doing a tail light giveaway so these are some new lights that I found on Amazon. They are LED and I know some of you guys have issues with those tabs in the rear on the stock tail lights. So this will be a good upgrade if you guys need some tail lights. Check out NajarOffRoad.com. Every dollar that you spend is an entry for the giveaway. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so now that we did the other side, um, I got some tips for you guys is first thing, I cut the plastic a little bit shorter around. Makes it easier to maneuver, especially like in this area where I messed up on the last one. Now we got some fingers we have to shrink down. So we're going to take some heat and then press on them so that they shrink down. These are called fingers from the videos that I was watching. You heat it up so the fingers are kind of like that and then squeeze it out. So I'm going to lift it up and then reattach it just to make sure that we got the wrinkles out. Since the water is dry, so I can see some wrinkles here. So we're going to take those out now. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Now we're gonna move the tent up. That way we can do the bottom section. Now squeeze it out from the center. Then we're gonna do like an H pattern and bring the wrinkles towards the center. I actually gotta wet this. Now we could see the fingers and same thing, we're gonna take them out. And then same thing, I'm gonna take it off, respray it and then redo it again. And I think that's shrunk pretty well. So now I'm gonna open the door and then clean the inside with the squeegee. And I did already clean the glass with the razor blade to make sure I didn't have any sort of things on there that can mess up and give me a bubble. And I did that a couple days ago, so that's why I didn't record myself doing it. So what this is doing for me is I'm trying to take just any lint that I might have on there. So we're gonna wet it down real good, get the tint. I should've done this while it was attached actually. 
So I'm going to reattach this. That way I can peel it and I'm not bending the tint. And as you're peeling it down, make sure to wet the adhesive side. And I'm going to go about halfway on that side down because that's where I struggled on the other side. Okay, again. Now we're going to try to place it, slide it underneath that side there. And then get it kind of close to the edge. You can leave a little gap at the top. Had a big old gap in the middle, so. Right on there. Oh, shoot. And I'm putting a, not too much pressure, but enough pressure for the water to come out. Okay, we're gonna roll it up now. Now that it's locked in. Squeegee it again. I'm gonna respray it. And then we're gonna peel this. So I think where I messed up last time is I didn't have this coated enough with water. So I wasn't able to slide it. So we're gonna start from up here actually with the card. I'm gonna try to push it forward. So we're trying to get the tent behind the seal right now. Make sure you have a good amount of water too when you're doing that. And we might get fingers here too, but we can always heat them out. Oh no, I bent it right there. Damn it, it was going so good too. So today it is super hot. In Vegas, it's hitting 118 degrees, which is insane. But I figured that's probably a good time to test out the tent and see if it actually helps with the AC cooling the Jeep down better. Because before when I would drive the Jeep, I'd honestly be sweating if driving like five minutes away. It really wouldn't cool down the Jeep as fast. So let's go ahead and test it out. Like I said, it's definitely not perfect. I got a line there, a couple bubbles here, and some down here. And I think that's for me not stretching the tent out like side to side enough, but it's all right. I mean, I could always buy it again and redo it, which I probably will because I do want to learn how to tent cars. But if you're not up for a challenge, I mean, you can always take it to a shop and pay a little bit more and get it done professionally. So just sitting in the Jeep, it honestly does not feel as hot. So let's go ahead and turn on the AC. I'm not kidding guys, like it's super hot. And as many of you guys know, the AC system is not the greatest in the WJs. And I think it's because it's such a big space and it only blows air from the front vents. Honestly, having the tents does help. Like I honestly do feel it cooler in the car. So I just drove around for five minutes. Usually in that time, I'd like be sweating sometimes. So today, considering that it's pretty hot, it's like 116 right now and I'm not sweating. Like I honestly do think it works. And the tint that I got, it is nano ceramic, so I think that's better for the heat. I still don't have the windshield tinted, which that does help because my other Jeep right there, that one has everything tinted, so you feel a difference in that one. Now, would I recommend you guys doing this yourself versus taking it to a shop? That's up to you. It's a little bit harder than you think it would be. If you want to save some money, you can try tinting it yourself. But if you're not confident in doing it, just pay the extra money and take it to a shop to get it done right. Um, like I said, I do have to redo it. For now, it's fine. You know, I just needed it for the heat that's coming up this month. So I will redo it. And I'm spending twice the amount of money. So maybe I could use that money to pay someone professionally, but I want to learn the skill. So sometimes you have to invest that money to learn something new. But yeah, right now I'm sitting in the car comfortably with the AC on and the tent. I think it's, it's more than enough for, for now, you know? And aside from like the heat stuff, I just think the Jeep looks better with the front tinted as well. I did get 35%, which is a little bit lighter than the rear. Just a little bit, but it's pretty close. So I don't know. I think it looks way better now. Mm -hmm. 